Yes. Governor Inslee is asking people here in this state to double down on their efforts at social distancing during this holiday weekend. And hello again, practicing our social distancing and reporting from our studio here at home. I'm Steve Rabel. Your studio now. Okay, Steve. I'm Monique Minglovin here at the Cairo 7 Studios. Well, the governor's office shared this graph right here showing what could happen if we stop social distancing in two weeks before the May 4th date he set. Now, you can see the blue dash line there representing daily deaths. It would start to rise again through the summer. As of yesterday, there were 9,600 cases and 446 deaths in the state. Our team coverage tonight begins with Cairo 7's Essex Porter and Essex. Leaders of the state's top tourist destinations are asking people, stay at home. They sure did. And, you know, the governor understands how everybody's feeling. I mean, this is the governor's swing right here at the Capitol. You see his windows. What do his windows look out on? They look out on this beautiful garden of trees that everybody can see from his window, but also there are places like that all over the state. But the governor is saying it's just too dangerous to go out and congregate them, congregate in them, too dangerous for the ones you love. This Easter weekend will have the kind of weather Washington's tourist destinations usually see as the answer to their prayers. Governor Inslee says it's crucial for everyone to follow his stay at home order. We just do not want to have stories of Easter or any other get together of people being infected on, on such uh, beautiful days. And the way to make them more beautiful is, is to stay home. The businesses she serves will suffer deep losses. Still, the director of the San Juan Economic Development Council joins the governor's plea. We need to stay strong. We need to stay home. We need to stay well. The dark blue and lavender areas to the right of this chart show the additional deaths projected to happen if social distancing were to end today or even 12 days from now. If more people go out this weekend, how much more likely does it make it that you will have to extend your stay-at-home order? Well, I don't think there's an algebraic equation that I can tell you what percentage change in social distancing ends up in what percentage. But all I can tell you, it's been significant. We have had, you know, dozens of tragedies a day, but we've not had hundreds, which is a possibility if we are not successful in our social distancing. Tourism is the lifeblood of ocean shores, too, but the mayor wants visitors to stay home. Please, uh, we love you. Come back, see us in the summer when things are better, but this is not the time. Now, yes, you can still go out and take those walks that the governor's talking about, but you need to be in your small family group or make sure you just stay distant from others. Uh, but if you have to get in your car, he says, then you are going too far. The governor also says that police are empowered to enforce his order, though he's hoping that will not be necessary. Reporting live from Olympia, Essex Porter, Cairo 7 News.